Hi everyone, this is Jesus from Waste Factory. Welcome to the channel. This is a very special video for two reasons. The first one is that we are in a new studio, as you can see, in which we hope to record uh, videos where you can uh, see me talking to you. This is the first one that I'm doing that. I hope it goes well and um, that you enjoyed it. We are going to show you new plugins, uh, how to use them, you name it. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being here. And the second reason is that we are uh, presenting a new free plugin. It's called Flash and it's a transient shaper. Okay, so um, what makes this plugin uh, useful or nice or why this plugin? Because it sounds great, because it's free, because it's beautiful. And here it is. Okay, so here you have it. Uh, very straightforward, simple controls. And um, what I'm going to do is just run you through a few tracks. And I'm just going to use the plugin without uh, too much talking. And, and I hope you like it. Make sure to use uh, headphones or a proper um, speakers or well, you know how to do that. Okay, so let's go. You can see that we are clipping here, so you can just click here and the plugin will clip itself but below 0, zero dBs at minus 0 0.1 dBs. By double clicking the parameter goes to the initial value. And you can also specify the value you want by uh, clicking on the parameter name. Uh, well, you hear how it sounds, and now let's just try another another track. For example, um, a marimba. You hear how the reverb and the ambience is highly reduced or amplified. Well, for now, that's just a basic transient shaper. That sounds great. But these are the usual controls. What has Flash that I think no other transient shaper uh, has is this control. This is a mid-side control and lets you select where you want the effect to be applied to. So uh, these two lines here represent the stereo field. So this is stereo, and now we are just applying the same processing to the left and to the right channels. But turning this parameter to the mid channel, you just apply the effect to the center and to the side only. This creates a very interesting effect. Let's hear it. Right now, I'm going to um, reduce the sustain on the mid channel so you can hear. Uh, the, the ambience just on the sides. And now the opposite. Let's increase the sustain just on the sides. Off. On. I think that's nice. Okay, so back to the stereo field. Let's just use this track. 
This is the original one. And we have a mids control and an output volume. Well, I think that sounds very nice. And uh, let's just leave it here. And just for fun, another track. Okay, let's leave it here. Uh, just um, a reminder that here you have um, a menu that you can just uh, select the default size because the plugin is resizable. And you can get more plugins here. Make sure to check them out, write a review. And if you want to send us feedback, here you can do so. Uh, nothing else. Thank you so much for, for seeing the, the video, for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like, notification bell, all that stuff. And see you soon. I hope you like the plugin very much. Bye.